you guys need any cards, packs, sleeves, anything of that nature, shop on TCG Player using my affiliate link in the description. Now this here is some good vintage car path content. Stupid premise, too lazy to build a side deck, too lazy in fact to even fill out the extra deck despite main decking brain control which could easily take a tuner monster in a lot of different situations. So as you can see we're playing the uh, calculator deck today. So for those of you who don't know, this is kind of a card. People messed around with this back in the day trying to build like meme OTKs with the calculator. Basically, it's just like a dude that attack gets uh, 300 attack for every level that you have face up on the field, like added together. So you just like want to summon this with a bunch of big dudes and just like OTK with your your five to 10k attack point calculator. It's pretty cool. It's not good. Um, you have to commit your normal summon to this thing, who's basically just a big dude. You also have to somehow fill your field with a bunch of high level monsters at the same time. So to accomplish that, I think that. We've gone just like completely off the rails here, honestly, with like the Gear Town Machina stuff, with, which of course can put like 15 to 19 levels on the field easily, no problem. Then also Cyber Dragons, Guardian Eatos combined with Exodius, the Ultimate Forbidden Lord, where it's like this card can empty out your graveyard and it's 10 levels on the field for the cal calculator. And then also by emptying out your graveyard, you can special out Eatos, which is just like a level 8, 25 beater. That you can summon when your grave is empty. We also have Trag in there. Could maybe have slipped in Gores as well, but I don't like playing it with the field spell package. And I also played these two other Machina cards. Um, I don't know. I really like the ratio of having one and one of these. Um, if you're not playing like one of the Avers builds, then I think you should be on just Triple Force or something. But yeah, this is the build. We also went with. Um, I mean, spell trap lineup is just like a bunch of staples. Otherwise, we got brain heavy Trunade. Trunades in here, obviously, because we're trying to just meme OTK. Typhoon, um, standard, and then we've got these four traps, um, which are all just pretty good. No torrential. Um, torrential doesn't do a whole lot in here. Maybe we should play it just to have like a way of clearing things. But there's nothing to like set behind it, which is, is the big thing. I guess you can set this behind it, but this will miss timing often when you put it behind torrential. And then triple reckless greed. I think Joshua Schmidt was kind of talking about how this card is. A bit maybe underutilized in Edison format, um, so I'm going to be trying out more builds playing it. Obviously, in this kind of deck, it's it's pretty well suited because it just like gives you the extra cards to find your OTK pieces um, as soon as possible, which is what we're trying to do with this deck. So anyway, that's the brief explanation. Let's see if we can OTK some idiots with the calculator. All right, we got lazy deck building on both sides. Three card extra, five card extra. You love to see it. This hand is. Okay, they're playing Sam's, and they opened a gateway, which is not fantastic for me. Plus, they always draw. Yeah, they just always draw Grandmaster, too, so. Rough. They get a free plus one for that. Um, Do I ever win this duel? Let me think. Eh, it depends what I top deck, maybe. Okay, that's a pretty good draw. Not gonna lie, that's pretty good. Definitely, that is very good. Okay, I think into this, we probably just Typhoon the back row. Probably. Hmm. Do I do that, actually? Maybe I... Uh, but if it's Mirror Force, we're just going to lose the duel, right? So, yeah, okay. I'll do it. What on earth could it be that they're thinking? Mind crush? Compulsory. Okay, that's not great. It's not like the end of the world either. Um, so we do this, get you. You to my hands. And then, yeah, let's just summon it. So then we go. Hit with Yatos. Hit with you. Hit with you. Well, at least we did big damage. Um, we can maybe just kill that. Oh, wait. We forgot to equip. That was dumb. Uh, eh, it's, like, fine because we can call and get good value. Oh, no, wait. They're just going to Yachi my back row. Well, that's inconvenient. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can just flip this now, actually. Um, in fact, I could have probably just chained to Aichi, I think, and that would still work. 
I don't know. It's like not the biggest deal. I don't see how they ever answer this board. We can just like equip this to you and then... Well, we should have equipped it last turn actually. Because <laughs> now we can't because it's going to die, but... We still win through everything besides Mirror Force. Like it doesn't matter what he gets here. Search his hand, Okara. And we go battle. Um, yeah, straight to battle phase. Hit with Gadgeltron first over Yaichi. And then we just hope no Mirror Force. I think that's the play. So that's 1700. And um, the opponent has opted to take more damage. Unfortunately, they did have Mirror Force specifically, so now we lose the duel. Uh, yeah, that was the only way we were ever losing. We still have a shot. And we just gotta hope we draw something sick off this Reckless, I guess. Draw one, draw two. We drew some okay cards, but they're not great. Mm, I don't know if we can survive, actually. We probably just can't survive two turns, right? I don't know. Well, they're just not summoning Grandmaster for some reason. Uh, well, we might as well summon this to eat the hit. Uh, so we have to go set Peacekeeper Pass. And then, I don't know, we're just dead this turn though, right? Like, what is, what is the point of this? Alright, whatever, we get the, the guy. I'm confused why they haven't just gone for damage though. I think I would have died if they had actually just gone for damage. This is not enough, right? This is not even close to enough. They have to use two counters for that. What the Alright, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna bother. Um Take eighteen. Take sixteen. Take twenty one. Well, we're still alive, somehow. We really shouldn't still be alive, but we are still alive, so... Yeah, I've summoned this. And if they have Solemn, I mean, whatever. <laughs> whatever. It is what it is. Let's go... Bring back you. Like, come on, you either have a trap card and you win the duel, or you don't have a trap card... Well, now you're dead if you don't have another one. Okay, and that's the end of the duel. We drew the calculator this time, which is fun. Um, let's get... What do I want to get here? Just like another fortress? Probably just another fortress. Then do this. Equip you... And pass. So, hmm. We didn't draw any of our back row hate either game, actually, which is a little rough. I think we just summon this and go for it. Yeah, probably. Attack with you. Again? Oh my freaking god, dude. I'm so mad. <laughs> anyway, um, I think we just chill on the Mirror Force and hope he doesn't have Yaichi specifically. As long as he doesn't got Yaichi, we're just, like, fine. The Mirror Force is pretty bad in this matchup, though. Hmm, I'm just going to use it. I'm going to use it first opportunity for sure. He did have the Aichi? He's insane. He could have just, like, had a really good play. Uh, 
Should I summon this now? No, we might want to wait for the calculator turn to do that. Let's just summon gear frame. And then we can like play into oppression next turn or something. All right. So we get you. And then, do I even wanna, now nah, let's just set this. Let's just wait a turn. We need to draw like a Trunid or a heavier MST before I wanna do anything. Oh, we actually did draw Typhoon last game, didn't we? Nah, he's just got more back row though. That's annoying. I might just flip the Reckless and hope. Kind of seems like the play. All right, there we go. It's exactly what we want to see. And there was the oppression there. Okay, we should just have a calculator line, right? So it goes Cyber Dragon. Summon this. We're gonna get the Gear Town. Summon the big boy. Bring back you. How big is this calculator? I gotta do some math. Against 300, so how many levels? 7, 12, 20, 32. There's a 9,600 calculator. <laughs> Over the Yaichi for game. Let's fucking go, man. That was sick. Thank you, opponent. You are correct. It was sick. I'm so cool. <laughs> oh, I can put that in the thumbnail now, too. Like, 96 attack calculator. <laughs> All right, so opponent's got Zanji. Opponent's got a back row. Probably a second back row. Nope, just the one. That feels good. Um, so I think we lead with the Autos. Okay. And then... We can summon Gadgeltron... But we can't summon Fortress. That's annoying. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Do we think he drew Mirror Force again? What are the odds of that exactly? Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I could like main two fortress though. If I if I use Exodius, no wait, I can't use Exodius because nothing is in the graveyard. Hmm, that's tough. I don't know if I want to commit this Typhoon yet. I'm gonna be real. All right, let's do this. Let's just go. You. And then set this. And then do this, activate this. Get that Gadgeltron dragon. Then we can enter battle phase. See if that's okay. Okay, it might be like a Book of Moon or Compulsory or something. Could be Compulsory again, I could kind of see that. Okay, it is compulsory. So they put this back. We hit with the autos over the Zanji, and we're just chilling. I think we hold this MST. It's just like too important to freaking Ray Charles it out there, you know, like like that. So we're keeping it in our hand. Opponent's going Yaichi set two. Tough spot. Uh I probably just go summon gear frame, right? I feel like that's the play. And then... The question is, do I summon this fortress? I feel like it's a probable no. I think we just push in with these two at the moment. Yeah, so let's go... Do we have gear frame first? Let's go Yato's first. So there's a D-Prison... 
And then, do you have another one? No. All right, we're chilling. We are chilling at this point. Set that. And... Ah, uh, do I hold on to this MST or do I set it? I think we hold on to it still. I think it's just like too important, you know? Okay, they have United. But they haven't had Grandmaster yet, so... Okay, they're just using it to draw one. That's totally cool. That's totally fine. All is well. They're not actually using it to draw one. Oh, we drew the calculator. Okay, okay. We gotta go for it. We gotta go for it. We gotta go for it. <laughs> um... So we do, we have to summon Fortress first. And then we go Exodius. And then I haven't counted to see if this game, but I suspect that it is. <laughs> what is this? 1123 times three is 6,900. All right. I mean, that's just gotta be game, right? That's like, it's like, yeah, GG's. All right, calculator best deck, what can I say? As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Furthermore, if you enjoy my content, you should think about becoming a channel member. You get access to tons of bonus content, and it's a great way to help support the channel.